In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, and boys and girls, you notice that Father has got green on once again. So we are back in ordinary time. But this time for us is not just ordinary. It is a time where we reflect on a relationship once again with God as we go throughout these summer months. So let us call to mind our sins. Let us prepare our hearts to celebrate the sacred mysteries of the Blessed Eucharist. Lord Jesus, you have shown us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you have given us the consolation of truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Good Shepherd, leading us into everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And today, the celebration of our Mass is going to be for civil needs, and we are going to pray for our nation and our state. O God, who arrange all things according to a wonderful design, graciously receive the prayers we pour out to you for our country in the state of New York, that through the wisdom of its leaders and the integrity of its citizens, harmony and justice may be assured and lasting perseverance may come with peace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever, Amen. A reading from the second letter of St. Peter. Beloved, wait for and hasten the coming of the day of the Lord, because of which the heavens will be dissolved in flames and the elements melted by fire. But according to his promise, we await new heavens and a new earth, in which righteousness dwells. Therefore, beloved, since you await these things, be eager to be found without spot or blemish before them, before him, at peace. And consider the patience of our Lord as salvation. Therefore, beloved, since you are forewarned, be on your guard not to be led into the error of the unprincipled, and to fall from your own stability. But grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. To him be glory now and to the day of eternity. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. Before the mountains were begotten, and the earth and the world were brought forth, from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. You turn man back to dust, saying, Return, O children of men, for a thousand years in your sight are as yesterday, now that it is past, or as a watch of the night. In every age, O oh Lord, you have been our refuge. Seventy is the sum of our years, or eighty if we are strong. And most of them are fruitless toil, for they pass quickly and we drift away. In every age, O oh Lord, you have been our refuge. Fill us at daybreak with your kindness, that we may shout for joy and gladness all of our days. Let your work be seen by your servants and your glory by their children. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. May the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ enlighten the eyes of our hearts, that we may know what is the hope that belongs to his call. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to our Lord. Some Pharisees, inheritance, were sent to Jesus to ensure him in his speech. They came and said to him, Teacher, 
We know that you are a truthful man and that you are not concerned with anyone's opinion. You do not regard a person's status, but teach the way of God in accordance with the truth. Is it lawful to pay the census tax to Caesar or not? Should we pay or should we not pay? Knowing their hypocrisy, he said to them, Why are you testing me? Bring me the denarius to look at. They brought him one and said to them, Whose image is inscripted on this? They replied to him, Caesar's. So Jesus said to them, Repay to Caesar what belongs to Caesar, and to God what belongs to God. They were utterly amazed at him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My brothers and sisters, they give us a little three-sentence snippet of what the readings are each day. But the first reading, the psalm, and the gospel messages, and how they all come together as one. And so we don't believe in coincidences, but we believe in God's plan. As you know, the readings are already picked out. It's the same cycle, A, B, C, A, B, C. And so the readings are already set, but they truly relate to what we are experiencing in this time, especially in our country. So this is what the little synopsis was for today, the meaning for today's readings. It said, Await the day the Lord will come in peace, full of virtue and integrity. So you and I are awaiting the day that the Lord is going to come with peace. And then it goes on to say, Obedience to civil authority must never interfere with the higher obedience owed to God, God who alone is our refuge. Reflecting upon this reading last night, that one sentence came to me. Obedience to civil authority must never interfere with the higher obedience which is owed to God. During this time, when you and I are not able to gather as we are traditionally accustomed to in our church, to celebrate the body and the blood of Christ, and to hear the word of God, to be filled with the Holy Spirit. This one sentence has really struck my heart. Obedience to civil authority must never interfere with the obedience of God. As Christian brothers and sisters, we know where our faith lies, and we know who has the authority over every one of us. It's not a person, it's not a state, it's not a political party or governance of bodies. It is one person who has authority over all of us, and that is God, our Father. I say this because I know that in your hearts, you're feeling the same way I am. And I've read some emails. Why can people protest or gather together when we can't gather together in our church? I ask the same question. However, for the safety of all of us, we are both obedient to civil authority and obedience to God. And as long as we continue to be obedient to God, then we'll be just fine. God is alone. God alone is our refuge. So my brothers and sisters, as we go throughout this day and the days to come, let us remember first and foremost who has authority over us, and that is God our Father and Jesus Christ. God sent us a teaching, the way of Jesus, to be loving and merciful and forgiving to all of our brothers and sisters, those who are we are accustomed to, those from other nations and who speak different tongues. Because we are all brothers and sisters under one God who created each and every one of us. Let us pray to God our Father that we will find peace in our state in many ways, not just in the violence, but with the dignity and respect of human life. And let us pray for peace in our nation that we will come together through the love and mercy of God. 
Let us be willing to forgive our brothers and sisters just as we ask God for forgiveness for our own faults. Because when we are willing to change our mind and change our hearts, to be loving and merciful as Jesus, then we truly will receive the peace of God our Father. Our Lord made us for himself and knows our needs. In confidence, let us bring our petitions to our saving Lord. For the church, may the Holy Spirit instill in our bishops and priests the gifts of wisdom and holiness of life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For President Trump, Governor Cuomo, and for all elected and appointed civil officials, may God move them to enact policies that lead to the flourishing of all people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are uprooted from their homes, may God protect them and lead them to safety. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For St. Mary's Parish, may the Lord allow his word to grow in us through our worship and service together. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died this day, for all those who will die this day, and for all of those who have nobody to pray for them, we pray that their souls and the souls of all of the faithful departed through the mercy of God may rest in peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we also pray this Mass being offered today for Carl and Dolores Pavacqua on the anniversary on this uh, the, the, would have been the well, it would have been their 69th anniversary it's their marriage anniversary and they're they're a trip they are they are and my great aunt and great uncle and god bless them tomorrow would be his birthday but uh yeah they're, they're a lot of fun so we pray in honor 69 years they would have been married today lord hear our prayer lord hear our prayer and Mrs. Fitzgerald, our school principal, myself, and the faculty and staff will be recognizing our fifth graders today. And so let us pray for our fifth graders as they conclude this time at St. Mary's School. And we pray for their future endeavor in their education, but most importantly, for their increase in faith in our Lord Jesus Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, we are yours and we thank you graciously for hearing our prayers. Grant them according to your holy will, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread we offer you. Free the earth and work of human hands, and will become for us the bread of life. Bless be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer you. Free the vine and work of human hands, and will become for us our spiritual drink. Bless be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all of his holy church. Trusting in your compassion, O Lord, we come eagerly with our offerings to your sacred altar, that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, most holy Father. 
through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a dew ball, that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Edward, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and the glorious martyrs, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs of eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At our Savior's command, formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom of power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ can be saved for eternal life. May the blood of Christ be saved for eternal life.
Let us now make our spiritual act of communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and the desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there and unite myself fully to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen, I say to you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe you will receive it, and it will be yours, says the Lord. For the intercession of St. Michael the Archangel, let us pray for peace in our hearts, peace in our families, and the protection against Satan and evil in our state and in our nation. To St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle, be our protection, protection against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God, God rebuke and we humbly pray. pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl around the world, seeking ruin of souls. Amen. Our Lady, Queen of Peace, pray for us. Let us pray. Governed by your Spirit, we pray, O Lord, those you feed by the body and blood of your Son, that professing you not just in word or in speech, but also in works and in truth, we may merit to enter the kingdom of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Our Lady, Queen of Peace, bring peace into our hearts and pray for us. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.